Burley suspects Mary is plotting to have Elizabeth killed and trying to make England Catholic again. So he sends his spies out to get proof. Mary becomes this romanticized figurehead for a generation of young men educated in the Catholic colleges in France, um, in Rome and in the Netherlands who want to give their lives for their faith. It doesn't take long before a young man writes to Mary. Burley's trap is set. Anthony Babington is a young, not very bright, but an enthusiastic Catholic gentleman with too much money and a lot of time on his hands. He writes to her and he says that he will help spring her from her imprisonment and at the same time, six gentlemen will do the deed. They will assassinate Elizabeth. There be six noble gentlemen, all my private friends, who for the zeal they bear the Catholic cause and your majesty's service, will undertake the execution. Everyone's waiting, Burley's waiting, Babington's waiting for Mary's reply. And 12 days later, it comes. She basically damns herself in that letter. The affairs being thus prepared and forces in readiness both without and within the realm, then shall it be time to put the six gentlemen to work upon the accomplishing of their design. Babington's promising her ships and soldiers, and there never were any. There were no ships, there were no soldiers, there were no loyal Catholics waiting to carry her to elegance and luxury and freedom such as she'd known in her childhood. It was all a fantasy, and what's terribly, terribly sad is that Mary still believed it. Burley's spies bring him a copy of Mary's letter, but will it be enough to condemn her to death? I hope that God, which hath given us the light to discover this great conspiracy, will also give assistance to punish it. Any sympathy Elizabeth ever had for Mary is gone. Well, what do you think of your Queen of Scotland? With black ingratitude, and treachery she tries to kill me, who so often saved her life. Now I am certain of her evil intent. It may be she will not have another opportunity to behave like this. Despite the proof, Elizabeth can't bring herself to condemn Mary. She felt guilty. She felt terrified that God would judge her on the last day for putting to death a divine right ruler. And, you know, she probably felt upset and annoyed that she'd been boxed into this situation that she never wanted to be in, that she had managed to avoid for most of her reign. Instead, she turns her rage on the young plotters. Babington and his associates were hanged on the gibbet. They were cut down while still alive and they had their private parts chopped off in front of them. They were eviscerated. Their entrails were burnt in front of them. And then they were executed. And then they were quartered. And what's really gruesome about this is that Elizabeth asks Burley if he could come up with something else. And Burley assures her that if it's done properly, i.e. if they're cut down soon enough so that they can witness their own evisceration, then it would be pain enough. On October the 25th, 1586, Mary is pronounced guilty of conspiring to murder Elizabeth. I am quite ready and very happy to die and to shed my blood for God Almighty, my Saviour and my Creator. 